What's up, guys? I am back. Now, I want to talk more about the possibility of Stipe Miocic beating John Jones at heavyweight. Now, I just I can't see where Francis is a better fighter than Stipe. He can certainly beat him, but if you take away the knockout power, I don't really see how he can actually beat him. You know, I think Francis submitted one guy with a Kimura once, but let's be honest here. If Francis is going to beat you, he's looking to keep you on the feet. He's not looking to wrestle with Stipe. He's not looking to keep his distance or any of that stuff. He's looking for a knockout. I just don't see him beating Stipe Miocic. So let's say I'm right. Let's say Stipe wins. Now he defends his title against John Jones. And let's say John Jones is still undefeated, which he probably will. I don't think John Jones is going to have a fight before he fights for the title. Um, It's interesting. It depends. If this fight goes to distance, it goes in favor of John Jones. As I think John Jones is more talented than Stipe. He's probably a little smarter than Stipe if they were in a straight up fight. But this is where it gets a little tricky. See, Stipe has knockout power. He's also a good wrestler. Or wrestler. He's not a better wrestler than Jones, but he does have good wrestling. I think it's enough to hang with John Jones, but I don't think it'll beat him with his wrestling. I think Stipe has a power advantage on the feet. And since Stipe's been fighting at heavyweight for so long, and he's had all the success he's had at heavyweight, I think that will help him against John Jones. See, John Jones has not fought at heavyweight yet. I do think he'll adapt, but it'll take him some time. And I think Stipe will take advantage of that. I think Stipe standing up will have an advantage. You know, Stipe's not afraid to get in your face and hit you. Uh, he's a very smart guy on the feet also. He knows how to avoid certain stuff. And I, I know Jones can knock out Stipe. He's knocked out Cormier before. A few other guys, but I don't think he'd be looking to knock out Stipe. I think he'd be looking to, you know, use his length to his advantage, use his, his reach. He'll probably pick a Stipe apart, you know, hit him with a few jabs, a few wheel kicks, that little side kick he does to people's thighs. I think Jones would uh, try to take him down at some point when, when he wears him out a little bit, softens him up. And I think Jones would likely win a unanimous decision if he beats him. Now, if Stipe beats him, I think Stipe would have to end it in the second or third round. I think Stipe would have to catch him with a good punch like he did with Corman. He'll probably hit him in the body somehow. Maybe he can go to the body, go to the face, go to the body. You know, you might see Stipe throw a few kicks in there, maybe a few knees that we don't really see out of him. He'll use a lot of dirty boxing. He'll try to put Jones against the cage, which he can do. You know, remember, Jones has basically been a heavyweight the whole time. Stipe is also a heavyweight right now. They'll probably be around the same size, so Jones is not going to have a weight advantage over anybody anymore. They're going to be about the same size. So Jones is going to not, going to, not going to have that advantage. So for that reason, if they fight, I'd have to go with Stipe Miocic. You know, again, Jones is more talented. He's been fighting. Uh, have, has he been fighting longer? In the UFC, about the same time, right? I think Jones might have fought a little longer. But again, Stipe, and the thing is about Stipe, he always finds a way to win. Jones always also finds a way to win. But Jones has not fought at heavyweight. Stipe has fought a heavyweight his whole career. So Stipe should have any uh, the advantage. It's like, uh, if anybody remembers that game four years ago with college football, Louisville and Clemson in 2016, great game. A lot of people picked Louisville, except Lee Corsa. Remember, he picked Clemson. He said, for a few reasons, Clemson is at home. In this situation, Stipe is at home. He's at heavyweight, so he's going to have the advantage. And uh, I imagine Stipe is going to be the fan favorite. Same thing with being at Clemson. Clemson's going to have fans to support them. He's going to have people in his corner more than Jones will for this fight. You know, if that makes sense. But I see Stipe winning. Not because he's better. Like that night, Clemson wasn't really better. They just made less mistakes. And I think Stipe, when it comes down to it, I think he'll make less mistakes. I think he'll come in there with a good game plan. He'll do just enough to beat John Jones. So if I had to say, I'd say Jones, no, Stipe wins by third round TKO. He'll probably hit him with a few good punches and wear him down and probably beat him like he did DC the second fight. He'll probably win it like that. He'll wear him down. I don't think he'll straight up knock out John Jones, but he can. But it'll be a third round TKO and still your boy from Cleveland wins. All right. If you agree with me, fine. If you don't, comment down below. We can debate about this all you want. I will win this debate. Just kidding, guys. I love you. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.